Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to Robot Arena 2, uh, DSL Mod 2.2. Um, I did a an entire recording earlier, but unfortunately that data got corrupted because my computer froze uh, during one of the matchups. But uh, I'm going to do two separate recordings, oh, well it's going to be the same one. First I'm just going to show you the bot I built for the heavyweight championship, hopefully he'll do alright. Then we're going to go into a couple of tourna uh, tournament matches to see how all we can do against those, the uh, regular uh, team headquarters tournament matches. I don't even know if it saved my progress from before. Uh, nope, nope, wait, total events played six, match wins one, losses six, current season rank one. Okay, so it did save my progress, I think. Yeah, yeah, it saved my progress in the game, but the game crashed. It froze up, and uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I, it didn't save my, um, it didn't save my bot data, or it didn't save the recording data. But this is the new robot I built, Fire Beetle. He's just got the default appearance uh, of Steel One. I'll tell you all about him. Uh, this is the um, Breakdancer isn't actually an official bot. I think it's uh, I think it's actually what part of what crashed my game. It was my attempt at making a helicopter. It's pretty goofy, but it's kind of fun. But um. Okay, without further ado, let's take a look at Fire Beetle. I wanted to use, the idea behind this bot was that I wanted to use a lot of parts that I hadn't seen used in game before. Uh, like for example, I haven't seen uh, any bots that use the tank treads, and I'm sorry it looks so ugly, but for some reason, um, depending on what engine you put them on, uh, I guess it just makes it so that the tank treads, uh, they rotate for some reason. Uh, like for example, let me show you and I didn't know this, but uh, you can actually put stuff on the outside of the tank tread. I wish that my original data hadn't been corrupted because I did all of the explaining and everything. It also has a nifty little surprise of something else that I hadn't seen a lot of people work with. The flamethrowers! It's got two double flamethrowers. Very nice, very nice. Um, it's got a lot of uh, mobility and terrain. It, you know, it doesn't get stuck very easily, uh, but the main attraction of tank treads is, of course, um, their durability. They have a lot of hit points. So let me show you as I put the tank treads back on. I, I, I'm so scared the game's going to crash. I'm just so scared now. Every time it, like, lags just a little bit. We've got the large style tank treads. And we put those on there like that. And for some reason, no matter how I put them on, I try to get them as straight as I possibly can. But as you see, not only will it not be perfectly straight, which annoys the tech, it annoys the heck out of me. That's about as close as I can get it. As soon as I put it on, it's going to start moving slightly. Oh well, it usually does. But um, then I go over to weapons, and then I put the spike clubs on them. And one of the things I wondered is that you can also put things on the inside. Now putting things on the inside, like let's say for example, I put this multi-extender on the inside, uh, like just a small one. See how you can put that on the inside? Now if it was long enough, it would go into the chassis, which might stop the tank treads from spinning and creating this offset shadow effect. So I don't actually know what that's about. I don't know if it depends on what engine you put them on or what. Um, these are the Perm 132s, I believe. Uh, they are the most powerful engine in the game. There's a version of them that's the dual Perm 132s. Um, those ones, uh, I think it's like double of these. And it, it runs better for weapons. I tested it with um, a spinning type weapon, like putting a rotor on it, and it actually ran pretty good. Uh, it's slam full of air tanks. What I did is I, uh, I built the entire bot and had three or four air tanks in to begin with. Then once I started getting close to the weight, uh, the max weight of 800, I just kept putting in air tanks uh, symmetrically until we reached about 795. And as you can see, the last four air tanks I believe are small Pumas and all the other ones are large. So we're maxed out on um, fuel for um, these flamethrower bad boys. and they. The original had three flamethrowers, but this one has two. And as you can see, whenever the bot touches down, it... Oh, did I mess up the, uh... I messed up the controls somehow. Now it doesn't want to... Oh, man. I'm going to have to completely reset that. Or... 
Or did I reverse it somehow? I think I reversed it somehow. Let me go to reset. Reset. Yeah, I messed up the controls somehow. So this is... That's now forward. And this is now... Oh, that's terrible. I don't know how I did that. Well, I'm going to fix that and I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back, folks. Um, I actually fixed the issue with the movement of the bot. I actually fixed the controls, so now the controls are all set properly. And it looks like... Um, after that, I tried to actually do a tournament mode, like the team career mode, and unfortunately it didn't actually take, because I got through two matches, and in the middle of the recording my whole computer just froze. So I'm not sure if it's because I'm trying to run a recording program in the background, or if it's something to do with the team um, schedule, like um, the different team season standings, like I tried to do... Uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, I did one of these. I try. I keep trying to do these tournaments, and in the middle of the tournaments, the game just keeps crashing. So I'm gonna have to just set up my own. Um, I'm going to have to just set up my own match to show you how all the bot performs. So we're gonna go main menu, exhibition. We're gonna gonna do a good King of the Hill. Let's do a King of the Hill. We never get to see those. Uh, the Luma Zone is a pretty fun one. Uh, let's get my bot in there. That's gonna be Fire Beetle. And then let's get some randos in there. I guess they should be should be heavyweights. Unfortunately, oh, that's gonna be a tough one. Uh, maybe not him. Maybe not him. I'm gonna try to pick some ones that I believe will be challenging, but I can at least prevail over them, hopefully. Uh, Team Dragon, lots of strike damage there. Uh, let's see, let's get a good, ooh, emergency, ooh. I wonder how good he'd be in King of the Hill. Oh, no, that's right, he's got spikes now, he's tough. Oh, okay, let's do it, <laughs> oh boy. God, please don't crash again. See, the frames are even going down, now we're at 190. Okay, now we're back up to 300 Everyone frames, that is. is I don't even know if you guys can hear this. Watch out. I don't know if I should put my headphones on or what. Because it's really, really low. God, now it's going to be over the mic, though. Maybe I should just plug in the headphones real quick. Oh, God. Okay, and we're ready to get up in this. Whoa, whoa. We've got bear claws over there racking up some points. Oh, my tracks are completely off. Let's let them deal damage to each other while I rack up some of these flamethrower points. There we go. See, that's another thing I like about the flamethrowers is that I can rack up points even when I'm not on the actual map for King of the Hill. Ooh, I'm right behind Grizzly. Get him, get him, get him, get him. See me racking up those points. Samurai's dealing a lot of damage to Emergency. I'm racking up points with the flamethrower. I'm at over 12,000 now. Uh oh, emergency's coming my way though. I don't want to get flipped. Oh, and I'm on the spikes. Ooh, four points there for control. Get behind emergency and deal some fire damage. Hopefully the recording doesn't crash. Excellent, excellent, excellent. If I can just uh, damage his CPU to the point of breaking it. Maybe I can run in here and deal some quick damage. There we go. More points, more points. See, if I had more speed, if I had more speed, like get up to a good running start, I could really get those Vlad spikes in on him. Boom! Burn everybody! Alright, I'm King of the Hill now. What you guys think about that? This is a good match between a bunch of really, some of the really strong bots. We've got Critical Emergency at... Ooh, he's about to get knocked out. Let's give him some damage with the spikes. If I could just go forward and to the side, I, I better avoid these spikes though. And boom, come up on the side of him. I'm trying to get him with a spike club. Because his uh, his CPU is heavily damaged. And another, ooh, is Bear going to get counted out? It seems like he's uh, stuck on his uh, upside down now. Oh, whoa, 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 Samurai's getting spoiled. Don't want to don't have that. We can put a stop to that. I seem to have a lot of push power, but uh, 
I am very slow right now. Watch out for those samurai blades. They're going to come down on me. Shogun's only got 80 points. Critical Emergency's only got 80 points. I am dominating. <laughs> it's the flamethrowers. I can cheat. <laughs> I can cheat King of the Hill. I don't even have to be King of the Hill and I'm still going to win. Oh, an emergency's lost a spike. Man, I'm getting slower and slower though. Is it because of my treads? Well, who's gaining points? We don't like that. Emergency, put a stop to it. Oh, uh, I'm completely out of fuel for my flamethrowers. Woo! And the tank treads are going. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't want to let him get points, though. Let him turn around and then get in there myself. Oh, I can just barely move now. I'm going to win! No one can possibly beat my point total. I'm going to spin around and make myself extra dangerous. Woo! Okay, I'm about to, about to spin myself out there. I win anyway. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> oh, man, I dominated. All right. <laughs> Let's exit that recording just in case it uh, crashes again. And I'll, I'll, I will at least have that one. All right, and we're back, folks. And since I seem to be able to cheat in that last round with the um, with the King of the Hill uh, because of my flamethrowers, we've taken out Grizzly Bear and put him in for uh, Tornado Murr, and we've gone with a good death match in the parking lot arena. So we're going to see if I can still um, come out on top even though I don't have that little cheat ability. There is no to hide in this arena. Be careful that you don't get hit Ooh. by a ton of bricks. Okay. And uh, as I explained earlier, for some reason the tank treads have a tendency to get all jacked up for some reason. I'm not sure what that's actually about. But I'm going to try to make the most of it. Oh no, emergency's coming straight for me. <laughs> oh. I'm going to try to deal damage with the spike strips and the Vlad, uh, the Vlad spikes. Oh no, I've had this situation happen before. I'm going to be losing a lot of chassis damage in a minute here. I've got to get off these spikes of his. Ooh, I'm in trouble. There we go, there we go. I'm at a good angle. I just need to stay right up underneath him with the spike. Definitely with the spike. Oh, if I can just deal more damage, even more damage. Watch it, watch it. Okay, now I gotta get away. Wow! Hey, get away from me. Flamethrower! My problem is he has a tendency to be able to knock me out, like KO. See how I've already taken a lot of uh, chassis damage? Uh, I could actually get knocked out, and my points wouldn't matter at that point. Oh, I can't let Samurai get those hits on me from behind. Oh, no. I'm in trouble here, folks. I'm gonna spin wildly. That's my backup plan. Spike strips, do your thing. Oh no! All oh, right, knocking him out. Okay, okay, okay. The controls are reversed now because I'm upside down. Flamethrowers. Okay, now I want to press reverse to go forward and forward to go reverse. Oh, I'm confused. Spin wildly. Hit him with the spike strips. Oh no! I'm getting points with the flamethrowers though. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Go, go reverse, 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 reverse. Backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Don't you get anywhere near me. I am a spinning wall of death. Okay, line it up, line it up, line it up. Line, oh God, line it up and hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yeah! Okay, keep his weapon locked. Oh my god, I'm getting so many points, but I'm probably going to get knocked out. I've only got to last 52 more seconds. Pin him here with the 8 counts. Oh, you suck! Just don't let him hit the chassis. Just let him hit the tank uh, the tank treads. If he wants to hit something, let him hit the tank treads. They can take a lot of damage. They've got maximum hit points. Let's inch in there with our Vlad Spikes. 34 seconds left to go. Oh, they're all locked up against each other. I'm confused because all the controls are reversed. More fire! <laughs> Nine seconds against him. He's going to get knocked out. I don't think there's any... Oh, I need to stay away from Samurai. Forward for reverse. Reverse for forward. 16 seconds left remaining. I can get a shot in on the back end of a critical emergency. <laughs> oh, I'm going to win, I think. That depends. I haven't seen the point counts yet. Okay, because I can only see my own. 
rack up as many points as I can in the last four seconds, and I hopefully, maybe, possibly, don't, don't hit me. I don't want to, uh, no, ah, oh, Shogun had more points. No, how did he get so many points? Dang it. Ah, oh, my face cam was in the way, I couldn't see Shogun's points. Dang, that was a good one, though. Oh man, I was only in third. Even Ice Cube Robotics Tornado Mare had more points than me. But I did good. Uh, I've been thinking about changing out the broad spikes for something more damaging. I'm not really sure if they're supposed to deal damage or if they're... I think they might be meant to be a flipping device. I haven't actually seen a lot of damage from them. Because my original idea was to um, deal damage to their controls with my flamethrower and then go in with some sort of a piercing weapon to, you know, to get those last few shots off on their CPU and that might actually work out so I'll try a few different configurations before the heavyweight tournament comes up tomorrow and I hopefully you enjoyed the video and I hope you like uh, my little robot fire beetle and until next time uh, here's to hoping that the recording doesn't crash again uh, take it easy my friends and I'll see you in the next one